here. Sorry, it's been a little while. I, uh, I've been busy trying to get things in order and decide if I'm going to get into this store, and I am. So uh, I've got to get some shelves made and get ready to put in this store this weekend. So uh, on top of that, I didn't go to Columbus this weekend. I was going to. I decided not to. Uh, of course, with the 4th of July thing, I had uh, I went to my buddies and was too tired this morning to do anything, so I decided not to go. But anyhow, I uh, heard it was really nice at Columbus today. I wish I did go because I heard it was packed. I uh, had a lot of people that I was at the local flea market in Vineland, New Jersey, and I just uh, picked up a few things, which I'll go over in a little bit, but I want to go over some things that I got here not in the uh, past week or so. Let's see, so what's been happening? My truck broke down. Had to buy a new radiator, new water pump. They both sprung holes. About a two inch gash in my uh, radiator. That was a four or uh, $240 part, and then the water pump was 90 bucks. So, luckily, I have a brother of mine. He, uh, he has a shop, so basically, he just I paid for the parts and it was a he did a real he did me good on the labor so it wound up costing me a lot of money but it could have cost me a lot more if I went somewhere else other than my brother's shop so thank big shout out to him I uh, so let me just kind of go over things that I picked up in the past week my buddies he uh he went shopping I had a couple uh, flea markets last weekend and he called me up and after my truck got out of the shop on Wednesday, I went to his house and I picked up some stuff. Now some stuff uh, I haven't really been through. I'll go over that in a minute. But I got this cool Spider-Man, which is kind of cool. I guess you put this on a string or something. And as you pull the string, it'll slide up the wall or down or whatever. But uh, his head moves. Kind of cool, I don't know. He's big, he probably stands about 12 inches tall. So that was in the box I got. Uh, I'm gonna go over some things. I these are dinosaurs. It, it's the new. Uh, I want to say it's the play school dinosaurs. Oh, I'm sweating bad today. But anyhow, uh, this is like a. It's new age, but it's actually a knockoff of Dino Riders, back in the day, which is play school's been doing that, and so has a. Uh, Imagine X been doing that. So these are cool. Hey, I guess his foot stomps down somehow. Some thumb works. I don't know. But they were in my box of goodies. Uh, I've had a super dog. I got the Supergirl's cat. There's Batman's dog. It's kind of cool. I think this is a spawn figure maybe I don't know it could be wrong but he's cool uh, I'm not going to go over everything in this box there's a Punisher little turtle Hercules I know Murder Mike likes a little Hercules stuff it's hard for the wind if there's wind I'll just try to get out and get some things done it's kind of cool. I said it was from Zelda. That's a good figure. Power Rangers. I know Motor Michael like this. It's a buzzer. I think it's from Cowboys. So he's kind of cool. Uh, this guy I've had a few times. I don't know who he is. Here's KO, but he's missing an arm, but the, the peg's nice, so if he got an arm, it'd be a good piece. Here's a knockoff Rimco Wrestler. It's kind of cool, which I have a lot more of these. I'm sitting aside. Uh, just a lot of little figures. Here's one of the Hobbits. Here's a... Yeah, can't think of his name now. Anakin. So it's kind of cool. This guy. 
This guy. Got a Yu-Gi-Oh figure. Ben 10 figure. This Batgirl is pretty cool. She uh she's got the Arkham, the real high Arkham fins like the Arkham Batman. Uh, man, it's hot as hell. 97 DC Comics. That's neat. I think that's Lex Luthor. My big Iron Man. A flying Spider Man. This guy from Avatar. Toy Story figures. Cars. Uh, a bunch of knockoff. Uh, I don't know what that guy is missing arm, but these guys are knockoff. Could be a uh, Sentinel or. Or maybe even a force or a, what do they call the other one? Corpse. Could be them guys. That's it for it is in here. This little guy, I don't know where he's from. Then we'll put him on a dinosaur though. I think he fits up there. Yeah, he does. So we'll put him with him. That's it in here in this box. Uh, trying to make it so new. So. Had everybody doing their fourth yesterday. Had a good time, went to a buddy's house. He had just got a brand new pool, so it was uh he had a big open pool party yesterday. Not many people there. Uh, these are cards for the newer uh Transformer Generations. So got Trigger Happy, uh, Quake, Croc. Twin Inferno, Chrome Dome. My son's got all these. He throws the cards away. I like to keep them because you never know when someone wants something and they're looking for a card because I know a lot of people that collect these newer ones. Uh, so that's it for this box. But I do want to go over, let me put this in there, some things that I got with this stuff that is, I think is cool. So. Uh, Everybody knows past couple videos I've done, I've been showing She-Ra and He-Man, and so I got these as Prince album. It's pretty good shape. He needs a cleaning though. He's wearing in the in the joints. Got this guy with his tongue. It does work. So he's in good shape. It's my second one of this guy. I probably got ten Ram Man. This guy. There's Trap Jaw. He's pretty cool. I always liked him. Even though he was evil, I kind of liked him. So. He's neat because he's still got his freaking arm with him. A lot of time that's missing. Look at there's a little, well, I don't know, a little wear here, but not bad figure. And I got this guy. Something ninja. He's missing all his gear and his hood and stuff, but pretty good. And of course, Evil Lynn, which I have Princess Tila, so Evil Lynn, like, you know, that's good now. So. So in here, I got a LJN Junkyard Dog. He, uh, He's a good cleaning. He's got a couple little wear spots. Look at he was eating one maybe by a dog or something, but he was in my bag of goodies. And I got this guy. WWF wrestler, but it's like Phidias or something. He's part of the Uncle Elmer crew. One of the, the nephews or something used to chase the pigs around. Got this guy, I don't know who he is. He's missing something on top of his head. I don't know what he is. But uh, maybe mean Mark Marrow, but I don't know. I don't know because it don't quite look like him. 
I got a WCW bendable sting. He's in decent shape. I'm gonna try to clean all these up. Had a little bendable Big John stud. Chubby little Jim. Little finger puppet. Yeah, he bounces around. And I got some of the good stuff in here. These are Hasbro's, there's Earthquake. These are very, very clean. I don't know who this guy is. I'm thinking Tito Santana. I could be wrong. So I really don't know who he is. Andre, if you're watching, who is this guy? Brutus the Barber. Like I said, these guys are pretty... He's a little more important. Other than that, a lot of these other guys are really, really clean. There's Macho Man. He's super clean. Paint's real good. Really, really clean. Uh, it's the Bushwhackers. So these are these are very clean. I think this is Smash, and this is Crush, but uh, I don't have Axe, so. But uh, Crush is very clean. Smash is pretty bad. Got another bag of stuff that came with this stuff. I'll get in my stuff today, and then. Maybe I'll do some a pick through bag that I haven't even looked at. I don't know if I'm All right, these guys here are Jack's wrestlers, maybe some of Mattel. This is Heidenreich, Batista, Kurt Angle. It's a cool Undertaker right there. British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith, Randy Orton. It's a good Triple H. Matt Hardy, Batista. I don't know who this guy is. He looks familiar, but I just can't place him. I thought maybe Lance Storm, but I don't think it's him either. I don't know. This is a very cool edge. So that's kind of cool. And then Shawn Michaels. And what's neat about these, these guys are all pretty clean, and the ones that have the ponytails, they're still on them. A lot of times you get these, ain't got no ponytails. So. That was my deal I got from my buddy. Uh, he, he's a video game nut. I'm not a big video game nut. I get them if I get them cheap enough. And then uh, I trade them off to him and get stuff I really want. So, and this sweat was terrible today. Today I went to the flea market. Bumped into a couple buddies up there. We talked and stuff. Divine uh, flea market. Said I'm a monster truck guy. There's the equalizer. Picked this up, it's pretty neat. Uh, what else? Yeah. It's from How to Train Your Dragon. I just thought it was cool. So eventually I'm gonna start doing setups where I can actually set things around. And I don't know who this I think it's the Power Ranger. So I saw it and I figured I'd get it. There's a just a cheap transformer that was on the table, so I picked up for a buck. I sell them to the little kids and stuff, and the moms come up to the flea market, and they're like, I want a transformer, and the kid's like five years old, four years old, and they want to get them something that's old and antique, but they don't want to pay the price. I talk them into something cheaper because no toy guy wants to give something you know is worth a little bit of money or value to a kid you know is going to get destroyed once he can't twist apart, you know? I got this little transformer too. I don't know what he turns into, but it's missing a missile. Got this guy, I don't know who he is. 
Got this big old arm on them. It's kind of cool though. There's Ninja Turtle. That was a dollar pickup today. I'll pick him up all the time. My son's a Halo nut. Once he sees this, I'm probably going to lose it. I can't keep nothing Halo. The minute I get anything Halo, my kid takes it. I got this little robot. I got a few of these little guys. I don't know what they are. Got a couple different ones. I got a red one with blue and yellow on it. And I got this one, but I don't know what it is. And of course, got this little Mario guy, which he's pretty cool. 2009 Nintendo. Uh, and I got a couple of new things I want to show you that I got from the flea market today. Uh, these ain't nothing, but I just thought they were cool. I'm going to put this leg back on real quick. These are really cool dinosaurs. The detail on them are pretty neat. Or not dinosaurs, dragons, I'm sorry. But like I said, they are very super cool. A lot of color. There's the name of it up on there. So, you see it or not. Sorry for the glare. I mean, I try to get these done when it's decent out. He's cool. He has got some really nice detail on the face. But I just, I do, I got a lot of little men and stuff, like little uh, knights and stuff. Eventually, because I got so much loose figures. Eventually what I like to do is make little setups like get a bin or something, maybe cut it and then start putting figures in it. I see it all over the internet and it's really cool and it's really got me intrigued to try it. So but like I said, I have these little dra these little dragons and they're really really cool. The colors are cool in them. But I want to set them up against my figures. So So I got one more thing for the flea market today. Back in the day when my kids were first born, years ago, 20 years ago plus, I used to really be into model cars. And I, I, every uh, time a, st a, to a store would close, a toy store, KB, when they were closing down, about uh, probably around 20 years ago or so when they started to phase out, I went in and bought, I was getting kits for two and three dollars a piece. And I probably had two, three hundred kits and they were, Stacked up at my mom's house. I had them in bins in an old shed out there and one day I just went out there and I put them on my truck and I went to the flea market and I just set them up out there Some guy come along and offered me 600 bucks and I sold them all to him and It's way more than I had in them Some were done some wasn't done uh, And then I saw this one day. It's AMT bootlegger or yeah boondocker Chevy blazer I uh, you can build it stock or you can build it off-road, which is kind of neat. You know, that's bone stock there. And that's more off-road there, so. Uh, this is open, but everything is in here. All eight tires, eight rims, the body, the stickers. This is in really, really good shape. All the plastics is on there. And so there's the decals if you want to make it fancy or if you want to just leave it stock tire and do it but uh i don't i i want to get back into doing models i do but i just don't know really if kind of if i really want to do it or not i mean i do but i really ain't got the time no more and constantly busy and I'm running 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 and when I do them I like to display them and I don't have the place to display them because I live in a little trailer so uh, I don't know I figured uh, I'll give it a shot and if anything I can sell it because I'm on all kind of model websites and stuff and I got so many people constantly hitting me up you got models you got models so I have a few I got a couple Bigfoot models I got a couple fire truck models I just sit on a lot of them now i'm gonna go through this box i haven't been through this i don't even know what's in it i paid for it this is a thing called johnny skull it actually his head moves and stuff and spins around and does all kind of craziness uh i buy i buy stuff on site on scene where it'll be like yo i got a nice box of toys for you and i just say okay how much and 
I pick it up, I do a torch pickup, and I don't even look at it. Sometimes I get bamboozled. And I'm sure if you're a toy guy, you've been bamboozled or you've been, you know, in, in got bad deals sometimes. So, you know, you learn and you move on. But this stuff here, I just put in bins and I make my money back when it sort of don't matter. But uh, I don't even know what's in here. I'm looking in here and I'm not paying attention. I don't know. Old little things I got with set tape. That's kind of cool. Brings back memories of movies. Uh, figures. Supergirl. Two different versions of her. Was that yeah, Joe? I think it lucky. Probably not. Nope. Not today. Maybe corpse or something. Super for something. A lot of stuff in here. Corpse figures. That's kind of cool. I got some space stuff, so I, I got I got a lot of these space people hanging out with them. Woody. Little orbs. I don't even know what's in here. I need Mike to go digging through this. Let me know what I got. One man's junk. Where you at? I buy this stuff and I only like digging through it when I get it half the time. Knock off little wrestlers, little Spider-Man, uh, Magic X. They sell good at the phone. Another Humpty Dumpty, which I just had one of them. Look what I got off the phone. Never know what you get. Another phone. Great. Better call somebody, right? But, uh, yeah, I don't really know what's in here. Spider-Man. What the hell is that? Whale? Superman. Pikachu. Who knows? He's a cool Spidey. So, I'm going to wrap it up. I mean, there ain't really much in here. If there was something really nice in here, I would have showed you guys. Um, not really much in here, so I'll probably make, probably lost a little bit, I'll probably make $10, $15, I'm sweating to death, look, uh, but it's not what I paid for it, I paid 20 so, we'll see, little burn phones, these banks are pretty cool, electronic banks, I got two of these, I'm gonna be able to get something out of these guys, some of 2004, and the coin safe bank, Oh, I might need to have my money back. Look. Just go. So I'm going to check this and see if this works. This one I had open. I, got, I didn't put batteries in there or nothing, but I had this one open. I'm going to check this one and uh, go from there and see what I got. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little long on the long side, but hey, uh, I ain't done nothing in a couple days, so long's okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I got going on. Nothing really too much going on. Like I said, I got I gotta get these shelves I got together because I gotta I'm getting ready to move them down in the store that I'm trying to get into. I got a couple of shelves I need to move from my shop up there, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna do two things. It's gonna get the shops out of my way, or my it's gonna get the shelves and stuff out of my way at the shop, but it's also going to free up the shop so I can actually keep it more straight. You know, right now it's just cluster fucked up in there, so. It's a big dog. I'm out. Till the next one. Hope you enjoyed this. Rate, subscribe, bitch, complain. Tell your friends. Uh, I got a couple new subscribers, so I'm hoping it keeps going up and up. So, till the next one. Big dog's out. Hope everybody has a good day.